Hey everyone, Kyle once again, uh, well, and uh, once I want to say um, uh, Merry Christmas to everybody, you know, just uh, now we'll let, like Thanksgiving, spend time with your family this Christmas, and um, have a good time, have all good time as a family, enjoy, enjoy each other, so, and it's what I just want to say, quickly say Merry Christmas to everybody, and uh, for this uh, Christmas uh, movie review, um, that I'm um, gonna be reviewing is of a film uh, uh, may consider may consider as a classic, like, understandable. And I grew up watching the film. I just haven't seen it in quite some time though. Re as a reason though, I haven't seen. It. I haven't seen it as a reason though, but I still like the movie. Me and my brother watched it quite a bit growing up. So, so for this Christmas view, we'll be reviewing of the Santa Claus from 1994, starring Tim Allen. I like the I still like the Santa Claus. Have a couple nitpicks here and there, um, more than I did back then, though. But I still like the Santa Claus. And the film was directed by Joe Pas Pasquin or Pasquin. I think that's a couple pronounced, probably pronounced Pasquin. This is a this is a film. This is a, this is the first film he directed. He would he would uh, direct. Um, Another film with Tim Allen uh, from Disney, also called Jungle to Jungle. Um, Jungle to Jungle, I, I sadly I don't hardly ever, I don't hardly remember. I know Martin Short was in it, which later in the third Santa Claus movie, he would team up with Martin Short again, Tim Allen, and then he would go also to direct, direct Joe Somebody, and then the sequel, Miss Congeniality Two. Um. And that's the only, that's the last one he did. So he only did he only did like four movies, but but he also just go he will but he will go and direct lots of episodes for many TV shows. Of course, many episodes from Home Improvement. Tim Allen, um, some episodes from a lot of episodes from George Lopez, and also a lot of a lot of episodes from Last Man Standing, also with Tim Allen. So yeah, but also including just episodes from from several different TV shows. So. But I've but thing is I've always enjoyed Tim Allen. Um, me and my brother love Home Improvement. Uh? <laughs> Can't do it as well as good though. But me and my brother love Home Improvement as Tim the Taylor Toolman. As yeah, Tim the Toolman Taylor, yeah. And um, I and uh, we enjoy uh, Last Man Standing. And other films with, with the films with Tim Allen. Like this was like basically starting point in movies because he was doing this at the time he was doing um, Home Improvement as well. This one was a big hit when it came out in in ninety four. Um, but it's a Jungle to Jungle. I could barely, I just, I, I just uh, hardly ever remember. It's been that long. Um, he says some films he did were, well, Wild Hogs. I enjoy. That's one of his. I think it was one of his better movies. I re I did a while back. I reviewed the Shaggy Dog from two thousand six, the remake. That was not a good movie. I ranted on the Shaggy Dog. Zoom was terrible. It was a. Uh, it was a wannabe superhero movie. That was terrible. It was a huge flop anyway. From rich or poor with Christy Alley. I, I I don't remember either. But Wild Hogs, um, of course, of course, of course uh, Buzz Lightyear. Who could forget about Buzz Lightyear? But Wild Hogs, I enjoy. This is one of his better movies of Tim Allen. Yeah. But uh, oh, Galaxy Quest. I I love Galaxy Quest. That's another. That's like, that's one. That's one. Also another one of Tim Allen's better movies. Wild Hogs, Galaxy Quest. But um, all I like to well, remember from Tim Allen from this, and of course, I got two, the two sequels, two and three. Of course, this whole is big hit. Of course, I got sequels. But Santa Claus, I still like Tim Allen. I still like. He was still still good as as Scott Calvin. He's a guy who's divorced, but he has, he has a son. You know, only like only a little bit limited on vis visitation vis visitations. Um, his son Charlie and uh, his ex-wife played by Wendy Crewson, which I remember she was also in The Good Son with Macaulay Culkin, The Good Son. <laughs> Judge Reinhold 
is her new is her new husband. Which of course Judge Rydell from Beverly Hills Cop, Fast Times of Richmond High, Ruthless People. I enjoy George Rydell. So he he's he's the new he's his uh his ex wife's new husband, who's a psychiatrist. Um, Eric Lloyd plays Charlie, his son. As one thing, uh, watching it nowadays, watching it now, I I just um. Remember more times now we're watching it now that the son Charlie, uh, he just whine kind of whine quite a bit. I mean, like he's like whine because of oh because when he was coming over to his dad's place right and fix him uh, Christmas dinner right and he burns a turkey, he messes up dinner basically. But he didn't mean to though, and they actually instead of, and then after since that dinner was botched. They go to Denny's. <laughs> and he's like, I don't want to go to Denny's. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. Though, I like to go to Denny's because, you know, to me personally, I, I love Denny's. I think, you know, they have the best scrambled eggs, in my opinion. <laughs> in my opinion, they have the best scrambled eggs. <laughs> I love Denny's. <laughs> but he's like, I don't want to go to Denny's. <laughs> and then with the night of Christmas... Um, and the one night, um, when they hear someone on the roof, they think someone's on the roof, uh, Tim Allen goes out, sees the guy, that's Santa Claus, falls down. Although, kind of, it's quite funny for that Santa Claus, you know, all, we don't know if this Santa Claus has been, like, over, like, a thousand years old or something, you know, but I think he's time spent on, on rooftops on houses, but it was when he gets, he gets surprised and he gets, uh, slips on the roof, kind of makes that kind of Santa Claus look like, look like a dummy, right? <laughs> But anyway, beside that, falls to the roof, and Charlie's like, "You killed him! I did not." Um, and then before, just before the, the guy disappears, you see I mean, the guy's not dead, right? Because we see like we, we move his hand like this, so I'm not sure if he's dead or not now. But I guess yeah, it doesn't matter because I guess what his spirit he spirited away. Uh. But he has now, by the time his suit is empty, when they come back to where they see the reindeer on the roof. And, of course, when they first, of course, when they get, when they get on the roof, the first thing we, the, the reindeer does, um, especially the one Comet, farts. Yeah, of course, great. First time we see, the first time we see reindeer and it's, it's uh, the reindeer Comet, he farts. Oh, boy. I don't know how many times I say it when I say about fart jokes in movies, like, especially in kids' movies like these. But anyway, and, he goes, and Charlie, he just he was one. I was like, I, you never, you never uh, would do what I want to do. And uh, he's like, whatever we, whatever we do is stupid. And he, and, and, he, and Scott's like, Tim Allen's like, I never said that, which he didn't. He never said that in the first place. So doesn't I mean Charlie does whine quite a bit more than I remember here. Um, but he puts on the Santa suit. The flying on the reindeer. Go to the next house. When he picks up the sack, he flies. And even the chimney's too small, he with the, with the power of magic of Santa, he squeezes through even the tiniest of chimneys. And then even inside, of, like somehow the, the the inside of the chimney like expands a bit. And he's like when, he, when he's putting up presents, and even when he pulls a kayak out of the sack, which is quite funny, you know. That if people don't believe in Santa. You know, and when they see something like this, like, wait, how'd that get here? I mean, did you buy that? No, I didn't, you know. You think that kind of wonders, if you don't believe it's out then who, who left it there then, huh? A bur a, a burglar? <laughs> I'm just pointing that, I'm pointing that, because if people don't believe it's out then who, how do how these gifts uh, get here if you didn't pay for them? That's I'm just, I'm just pointing it out here. Okay, so they go back to the North Pole, they meet the head elf, Bernard. He tells uh, Tim Allen about, you know, the contract of being Santa Claus. The Claus. Oh, it's right here on the business card. You put on the suit, you take on the responsibility of the Santa Claus. And ever since when he gets back, you know, he's, he's kind of getting more like becoming like Santa. Like some of like, the happy attitude he has of being Santa. And then the, the transformation of him, you know, from getting fatter with the beard and all that. And I'd say it's pretty good, and it's pretty good makeup effects. 
or prosthetics, you know, when he's getting more heavier and fatter of becoming Santa, or when he goes, when he tries to shave it off and dyes his hair, it becomes white with the whole beard again. But it's a good, it's a good makeup effect. Good makeup effects of him became, becoming Santa. And while that's going on, though, um, his ex-wife and ju and and her new husband, Judge Rhino, they they they're believing that they're making Charlie believe becoming obsessed with Santa Claus, that saying he's a Santa Claus, you know, make him believe in Santa Claus a lot, you know, since he's be dressing like Santa Claus. So the thing is, he's like, he's young to... I'm like, the, he's a little kid, right? If he wants to believe in Santa Claus, you can't just make him not believe in it. Although, because they say that when the, her, um, when his mom and Judge Rhino, when they were kids, they didn't get the presents they want, so that's why they stopped believing in Santa Claus. Yeah, that's the thing. You don't get the present you want. You don't. You stop believing Santa Claus. Oh boy, yeah. Because we um like Wendy Cruz, Wendy Cruz, until she wanted this like this mystery dating game, and Judge Ronald wanted an Oscar Mayer Wiener whistle. Yeah, since he didn't, they didn't get those, they stopped believing in Santa Claus when they were kids. Um. But they don't want to do the same thing with Charlie because they think, oh, this is his obsession to think too far. He's it's, he's he's being is making him delusional. It was the point where he takes him to class. You know, parents say whatever. You know, saying his to his classmates, his dad is Santa Claus. They don't believe him. And which the point where there comes the point where they take all the vis visitation rights from away from Tim Allen. And then when he when when they takes Charlie with them to a point they call the police. And have a manhunt for Scott Calvin. He's dressed as Santa Claus. But at the point they arrest they arrest him. Um, the the elves of the North Pole. They send like a special elf team. You know, it's called E L F S. Even though it spells elf, but it's you know capital dot you know E L F S. They they tie up the. Uh, the police, the, the police officer at the desk, we using tinsel, and he uses the tinsel to cut the bars off, well, the hinges off the, the cell. And then they go back to the house, saying that you know Charlie's to stay here, and I, um, I need to deliver the pre the gifts because everyone's all little kids is believe they believe in me. And to the point they realize they, they how um, her ex, his ex wife, and Judge Ronald, they believe now they finally believe he is Santa Claus now. And so, even and then I find funny, a whole, all the police and SWAT team are even SWAT team are there. I'm like they're treating this guy like he's a terrorist or something, you know? I mean, like he's Santa Claus. He's not doing anything bad. He didn't do nothing bad at all. <laughs> but yeah, until everyone see everyone sees even people in the around the neighborhood, they see the reindeer flying, him flying, say Merry Christmas to all. He even gives. Um, Wendy Crusen and Judge Rhino, there are gifts that they missed from before. <laughs> and then Valerie Cusholi, he takes his son he takes his son out uh, with him again. Yeah, so the Santa Claus of Tim Allen. Yeah, I still like the movie. Yeah, there was a couple of nitpicks though, but uh, regardless, I still enjoyed the film. And Tim Allen is what makes me keep it keeps me watching because I always enjoyed Tim Allen. I grew up with Tim Allen. From Home Improvement, I like the Last Man, Last Man Standing TV show. Um, but he's a guy. He's a comedic guy. Always, always comedic guy. Always, uh, of course, his voice is Buzz Lightyear, of course. But he, did, but he does fine in this film. Still, he does. I like Judge Reinhold. Oh, I forgot to mention Peter Boyle has an appearance in this movie. Peter Boyle, may he rest in peace. You know, played the Frankenstein monster from Mel Brooks' Young Frankenstein. Yeah, I forgot to admit, he has he has an appearance in this as well. Which is quite funny, later in the sequels, he plays um, Father uh, Father Time. But he, he, was a, he's a, he was a businessman at Tim Allen's, but then in the sequels, he plays a different character. He's Father Time. <sighs> so, it's quite funny in that. But um, yeah, and this is and this is a widescreen special edition, 
for features, it doesn't have much though. It has a making a Santa Claus. Um, what is it? What has a trivia game? Yeah, trivia game, making Santa, Santa snacks with Wolfgang. <laughs> so you want to be an elf? Whatever. So it's not, it's not. It's really not 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 much of a special edition. But the Santa Claus from 1984, I still enjoy. It. I still like it. The film sequels, not so much. Not not really that much, in my opinion, though. But <laughs> well, like I said if, uh, Tim on would would keep me going this movie. And it's a good makeup effects of the prosthetics you know, making him because he's when he's transforming to Santa Claus. Even the effects of the reindeer, they're pretty good as well on the the, the effects of the reindeer. So far, when they when they first get on the roof, the, the first thing that the one uh, reindeer does is fart. And I say, boy, I keep on saying about fart jokes. I mean, even the sequel, it was that same rain, it was that same reindeer comet farts again because he ate too much candy because he's fat beyond fat at that point. He ate too much candy and he had a fart. Yes, yeah, so it was the same reindeer and the. That for, if we first be a farce and then a farce and the same thing in in Santa Claus too, but I still like the Santa Claus. Like I said, uh, Tim Allen kept me going. Eric Lloyd, like I said, he, he does whine quite a bit in this movie. Comes comes off as, as, as annoyance. I like Judge Reinhold. Nice to see Peter Boyle in there. I thought it was fine. Completely directed by John Pasquin. But yeah, it was with, with Tim Allen was a star of the show because I I always enjoyed Tim Allen. Yeah, especially at the time he was still doing a Home Improvement. This was a big hit. I'm sure this is why we gave him more film choices, perhaps even uh, voicing as Buzz Lightyear. But yeah, I still like uh, the Santa Claus. Although I do put other Christmas movies above this. I mean, I love Jingle All the Way. That's one of my favorite Christmas movies. Let alone one of my favorite Arnold Schwarzenegger movies. I love Jingle All the Way. I love the Home Home Alone One and Two are better still. I like Scrooged, and some other Christmas films. They you know, like um, I I still like. I would put above this movie though, but Santa Claus was still a, a good Chris a good Christmas movie still to watch. So yeah, that's it's it's much more short than you. Well, I'm gonna say another none of my reviews are ever short though. But my Christmas my Christmas review for this for this year will be of the Santa Claus, and I say once again I say Merry Christmas to everybody and. Um, after this, I'll uh, get uh, a couple more reviews in, and then I'll probably get to my top uh, list of favorite films and worst this, films this year. Looking forward to that. But um, regardless, so Merry Christmas once again. Merry Christmas to everybody. And, and um, as for the film, I st uh, um, if it was as a, as a fan of Tim Allen or, or just a fan of Christmas movies in general, give The Santa Claus a watch. So yeah. So that's my review of The Santa Claus, my Christmas review of The Santa Claus. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next uh, video and we'll see you later. And once again, Merry Christmas to everybody and to all a good night. Later.